Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's go put our new power bracelet to use now that it doesn't look like a croissant, like in the Game Boy versions of the game. But yeah, I wanted to show you something here. Someone was saying, H.G. Bailey, the price for Tracy's Secret is based on the number of kills that you've done, and apparently that is the case. So yeah, if you uh, kill... Or if you get the 42 rupee price instead of 28, just kill another enemy and you'll be fine. I don't think Bow Wow making the kill counts towards that, though. So, yeah, you could do that if you wanted, but I'm still going to find it later in a dungeon, so I'd rather just do that. And by the way, we could head over to a certain colorful location at this point, if you know what I mean, viewers. But I'm going to save that for later when we're supposed to know how to get inside. And it looks like Bow Wow's found something over here. A secret seashell, number nine. I heard that you couldn't actually get into that colorful location with a companion following you, like Bow Wow there. So, yeah, you can wait on that anyway. But uh, let's see, over here, I thought there was something with the tombstone in this ver or in the Game Boy versions, but I guess not here yet, anyway. But let's see, to the right there, yeah, there's a cave that leads to the graveyard, but I've already been in there to collect the item, so I don't really need to do that. But anyway, let's go back up here. Now that we've got our power bracelet, we can get back over here relatively easily. But yeah, I thought there was something with the... with the tombstone there. Like a voice or a, If you sprinkle magic powder on the tombstone, I thought there was like a ghost or a voice or something or other that was supposed to say like, uh, I'll get you for that or I'll curse you, haunt you, or whatever they want to do. I don't know. But uh, I guess it's not in this version of the game with the magic powder anyway. But, uh, okay, let's keep on going this way, then. Very nice. Okay, now, I want to go up here, because if you recall, there was a chest that we couldn't get before. But now that we got the power bracelet, we can get the chest. So, let's see what we got around here. V uh, okay, I'll get the piece of power now. Then leave the cave just to spite the guardian acorn there and then collect the chest whoa i thought those guys wouldn't actually respawn that quickly but apparently so but in any case we get some more rupees that i'll need to buy the bow at some point but not right now okay so let's see i want to go back to where we got the toadstool earlier Okay, I'll go up for the the rupee there. Wow! Yeah, that knockback can kind of be annoying like that. Getting in my way. Or making it take longer for me to get to where I want to go. Very nice. So, yeah, the toadstool's back now. I don't really plan on using it, but I might as well pick it up while I'm here. But yeah, you could give that to the witch to make more magic powder, but I've already got more than enough to do what I want to do. But let's see. Okay, so around here, now that we've got the power bracelet, yeah, we can just lift these things out of our way to reach heart piece number eight. Another full heart container. Very nice. And let's see. Where I want to go next is on the other side of the cave. So let's leave and come back to reset all the blocks here and then get to the other side that way. Eh, too far there, Bow Wow. Besides, I want to make the kills myself. Okay, oh, whoa. Got lucky I didn't fall down that crack tile. But in any case, we made it. Okay, so with this guy... Very nice. Haha, -ha, there we go. Let's see over here. A secret passage. Let's check it out. Now, in here, uh, some people were saying there's a different 
alternative that you can get out of this place. First, let's use our magic powder on the torch or altar, whatever that thing is. Oh, so I did. Whoa, hey, hey, calm down, buddy. No? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this guy will let you increase your magic powder capacity, but I don't want that. I don't want your revenge. Oh, what's this? Yeah, some people were saying that if you choose no for the first option, you can increase your capacity for other items instead. In this case, I want to go with bombs. Even though I don't have bombs yet, it'll still increase my maximum capacity for it after getting bombs. And I think that's the most important one you can get at this point. You could also say no again to increase your capacity for arrows. But I think bombs are more important right now. At least as far as the number that I can hold. So, yeah, thanks for pointing that out, viewers. I didn't know that. Or if I did, I forgot. Which is more likely. Whoa! Oh, what did that guardian acorn... Ha-ha! There we go! And over here, with the chest we couldn't reach before, we find a secret seashell! Number 10! Very nice. And by the way, uh, someone was asking me, Ichi Bailey, with the uh, rewards for the secret seashells, do they require a fixed number of them to acquire? And the answer is no. No, not in this version of the game. The rewards that you can get out of them it, you only need a number of secret seashells greater than or equal to the amount required. Oh, and what's this? Hey, Dumpe, what are you doing here? Oh, okay. But your shack is way far away. Kind of strange, but okay. But uh, yeah, I guess they just want to make sure you didn't forget about them or something. I don't know. Now, we could drop off Bow Wow with Madame Meow Meow now. Hey, that rhymes. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I've still got some use for Bow Wow here. Eventually, though... Oh, I guess Marin doesn't have anything new to say. But, yeah, eventually I will have to drop off Bow Wow in order to progress with the plot. For now, that now that we've completed the Bottle Grotto... Yeah, they sell bombs here. Would have been nice if I could have had that for the first dungeon, but oh well, I didn't. But yeah, let's go collect a bunch of those. And even though we only bought 10, we got the maximum complement of 60. Since I already upgraded my capacity in advance. Kind of strange that they handled it that way, but I'm grateful. Yeah, normally the maximum capacity for bombs is 30, but it got doubled there. Hooray! Okay, so we got all that going there. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, I think the quadruplets have some new stuff to say. Oh, why is that? You're not going to tell me, are you? Hmm, kind of strange, but okay. Oh, and by the way, I have over 200 rupees. I could buy that heart piece at the shop there, but I think the bow is a much higher priority. So I'm going to do... or buy that one first. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, play the game here. And since we've completed another dungeon, we've got new items that we can pick up here. So let's see what we got. Very nice. Right about there. Hmm, that's a little too centered on the guy. That might be a problem. Shove the claw right up your ass. Oh, it's in there. Please don't fall. Okay, good, good. Whew. There is such a thing as being too symmetrical in this version of the game. When collecting items here. I feel like if you're off-center, you have a better chance of the item not falling out because it's on like an awkward angle. Okay, so with the item on the left platform, what I want to do is wait for it to be moving to the right, and once it reaches the second purple stripe from the left, that's when I want to just tap the right direct on the D-pad there. Okay.
Okay, come on, get in there. Okay, not exactly ideal, but it works. Woo! -hoo! All right, got him. So yeah, that's uh, how you can time things there. Although usually, if you have a new item on one of the platforms, it's usually on the right one. Not the left one there. Or at least that's what I figured. But in any case, we got a spiny figure here. <laughs> Made with lightning. Real lightning! Or metal spikes. And over here, what is this saying? Huh. Well, this is new to the Nintendo Switch version of the game. So we won't be able to put that to use for a little while. But in any case, let's see, let's go put the spiny figure on a stand there. And then we'll, uh, well, yeah, talk to these guys. Dream Shrine, huh? Hmm. Well, we could go in there now and get a treasure. But uh, I'm going to wait until later when we can collect all the treasures in there at once. And that's just completely arbitrary on my part. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, not that one. There we go. Yep. Got the matching one there. Just keep watch over the kids, I guess. Maybe it'll make them feel safe knowing that Spiny is watching over them while they sleep. Or they could just be creeped out by it. I don't know. But, uh, okay, so we're done here. Hey, how's it going? Dude, there you go. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Well, yeah. Oh, well, there's the ocean. That's outside the island. But, uh, okay, so if you recall, back at the tail cave there, uh, there was a room that I couldn't access before. But now that we've got bombs, we can access that area. So let's head on over there. But yeah, uh, thanks to you guys who uh, let me know about the bomb capacity upgrade that we get now. Or that I can get now. I Yeah, I totally forgot about that. But yeah, having more bombs is really nice at this point in the game. I remember having a little bit of trouble with my lower or normal bomb capacity at this point. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, so with bomb, you put it down. Let me see. Yeah, whenever you lift up a bomb in Link's Awakening, you defuse the bomb until you set it down again. So just like the Game Boy version there. And over here, we get a secret seashell, number 11. Very nice. Okay, we're done with our business in here. Get that, and then reload to just go back to the entrance. If only there were an item that could let me exit the dungeon without having to save and reload, but sadly, we do not have one. But what activities does Dampe have in store for us? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!